Hello, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out Edition here on our DC Colony, where we're preparing to send our heroes to space and beyond. Uh, beyond. <laughs> okay, I know I'm weird. You don't have to remind me. All right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see. So let's empty this just so that we have that extra extra. We got our first thing built, but we're not going to use these yet. We just put it there for whatever reasons. Um, and of course, we're going to, you know, have to remove these. But what we want to focus on first, <coughs> as I cough and choke and choke and cough, is a little bit more automation. Now, we got the kitchen automation. Uh, well, it's not set up, but the next... Oh, okay, we can't do automation yet. We need copper first. Um, let's change this down here so that we're just doing copper. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. We don't have enough power to drive this. Too bad I can't fit one more of these in here. Right? So. We need power. Power. Oh, okay. A little overboard, right? <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get this done. Uh, we're going to expand our coal power generation by two. Wow. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be key that we're doing this because, let me see, what is 600? Yeah, we are at 600 instead of 400. That's that's good, right? That's, that's the upgrade? No. Upgrade would be 900. So we're not doing the machiney thing. I don't want to use our lead. No gold either. We'll use that. So we kind of need to prioritize this. I know. More nines, right? Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. We need you to power these things up. There you go. Microchip it away. Why someone else can't push that button, I'm not sure. But evidently, it's only you. Okay. You you delivered the microchip. Don't you, like, you know, do something extra now? I thought you, like, did something. I've seen you do it before. How come you're not doing it? Maybe because the hmm, priorities, this is higher priority, so he'll just make chips and he won't do those things. He has to zap them. I know that. Any <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, um, we will prepare our um, next thing. Now, I could... Instead of three... Nah, we're not going to rely on coal power. Long term. So we'll just do two for now. So you can't make the room too big as well, because then... Um, well, we'll have problems. <laughs> it won't be a power room anymore. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, we are going to have to start planning out natural gas, too, which is going to come down here. So I might as well just dig that out as well as I go. Right? Yeah. All right. What do you got here? Hey, we can have omelets. We can have mirth leaf seeds. I'll take the seeds since I've been short on planting stuff. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I can dig up the plants easy enough, but you know. Where else did I need one? I need a seed there. Um, do I have any other empty pots? <clears throat> I do not. Okay, well, then we won't worry about it. Okay, you guys are digging out all of this. That is fine. Um, 
We emptied that. That is great. Um, and we're 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 making copper, right? We are. All right. Excellent. So this is gonna come here. There we go. <clears throat> now that means we also need to start putting in conveyor rails. So. Now, this is always tricky, but I guess I don't need to do anything special. All I need to do is probably just come down here and dump the critters in here so they drown. And then, you know, I mean, I it would require that I put two of these in place because this tank is large, but, or I just put one like right here. <laughs> and then what I do is I put in I just put in a drown chamber that they can't get out of. You know what? I'm going to do that. That way we don't have to have two whole things and we'll just drown them in this little itty bitty spot. Excellent. That is what we shall do and that is how... And therefore we shall do it. Yes. Aha! So this one's going to come like this. However... We're also dropping off coal. Which means I need a filter. Yes, which means I need to do research. Hey, look, we can actually do things. Um, we want this. <clears throat> so let's get that done. That'll be a priority from a research standpoint. Let's check our skills really quick. Power girl! All right. Let's give you the power of... We'll do carrying first. Uh, Black Canary is good. We're going to leave her where she is. Uh, Beast Boy, you're good where you are. Batman, good where you are. Wonder Woman, good where you are. Okay, good. We're all good. Everybody's good here. We're fine. We're just fine. How are you? Remember that line? I got it a little bit wrong, but, you know, Death Star, Han Solo, prison. Hey, we got some of our fish down here. They probably aren't going to survive very long. But <clears throat> I will put in a little feeder just because I can. You know? Why not? <clears throat> it's not an efficient fish farm, but, you know... Eventually, you know, we'll we'll grow them. They'll get old, turn into meat. We'll pick it up, and and that's fine. And because there's no limit on the size, you know, they won't get cramped. Since there's no doors down here. <clears throat> okay. Now, what else do we have to do? We're good. We're good down here. Um, we can put in that and we can put in this and we can get the power line extended and we can get our automation line extended there we go and it's still fine because we can make the room larger but we're going to we're going to cut it off right here. This is as big as this room is going to get. This room does not need to get bigger. So we're just going to do that. All right, cool. And then um, we're going to do that. Actually, we only need to do that one so that we can reach these. <clears throat> And then fill these in. Yeah. 
that that's all we need to do. All right, cool. Um, we can do that as well. All right. <clears throat> and we can get that one. And then we'll get these two, and that'll finish that heat barrier. Not that it's a, really a problem. I mean, sure, a little bit of heat's leaking through, but it, it's okay. Okay. Awesome. How are we doing up here? This thing's dormant, right? Yeah. So this is all we got for now, but that's fine. Did we dig into our other things yet? Not that one. Um, We haven't dug this one either, although we can now. Why don't we do that? When they wake when they wake up, let's let's figure out what options we have by coming in here and coming in here. There we go. Just to see what these are, right? And then um, what we'll want to do is go ahead and start digging this out. So we'll we'll tag that. Okay. Excellent. We're getting things built. We are slowly moving forward, making progress, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the rest of the stations yet. That's long-term project. <coughs> Excuse me, project. We don't need the suits right now. Um, we, do, we just have to watch when they're out here that they're not suffering. Um, we do kind of need the suits when we're going to get down here, but we got to do more steel and stuff first. So we'll kind of concentrate on that. Um, here, since you're standing there, can you dig that out? There's oxygen up here, right? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, well, come back when you're... when you feel like it. <laughs> and you're digging over here. So far, this is a pretty decent uh, little asteroid. Is this this is the output? Okay, where did we find the sender yet? <clears throat> it's down here. Ah, we've scoped it, but we haven't been down there. We gotta start going down here shortly. All right, what do we got? Oh, we got two natural. Okay, well, we know what our power source is gonna be and our fuel source. Um, for our rockets. It's going to be natural gas. So, yep. <coughs> so, this one is probably easier to start. Because I don't have to worry about the slime and everything. Um, so, natural gas comes out hot. Right? Um, you know, if we look at it, it comes out at 150. So, it means that if we build this out... We don't have to worry about putting in cooling loop or anything up here. We just have to make sure that we build stuff out of steel. Um, that's it. Uh, otherwise, we can just build a little room. And do our collection with our gas pump right here and our sensor right above it. And we're good. Um, so we're going to do this. It's going to be steel. Uh, we want a sensor. An Atmo sensor. This technically doesn't have to be out of steel. I know I always get corrected on that. So I will apply. There we go. And then of course... Um, this can be technically anything. We're using sandstone and stuff for our critters but we've got a lot of it so we'll just come through um <clears throat> let's use the shift key okay um so this will be a pretty easy little you know knockout build. Now, once this is done, we'll never need to come in here again. Um, but I don't want to leak the natural gas out. So I'm going to be kind of smart about 
it, and I'm not going to dig out the center here until last. Uh, but we will get everything else dug out so that, you know, we can take care of it. <clears throat> there we go. And, of course, we'll have to bring power into here as well. All right, cool. Now, second part of this. Um, how are we doing on research? All right, we're doing okay. Slow, but we're, we're working on it. Uh, let me see. Let's get that one done. <clears throat> Go. We'll get all of this. Um, we've got this. Now, this will be a little bit tricky because we've got to fill this with water. Um, so we can drown the hatches. Otherwise, we can put the eggs and stuff in here. So we'll have to work on that. Do, do, do. <clears throat> All right. Um, what else can we work on while we're waiting? Probably wouldn't hurt to have an extra scientist. <laughs> we're going to need them for rocketry anyways. Maybe we'll try to match that up later. Um, right now, not too important. Let me see. You're digging this out. That's good. Let's go ahead and when you're done with that, grab this lot as well. So that all of the slime is picked up. That will be good. Um, I don't think our little bleach stones that we stuck here are really having much of an impact. I mean, like right here, it is down to 10,000 in just that block instead of the 20,000 average. But, oh well. You know, probably just not enough. We should probably be securing our bleach stone um, so that it doesn't doesn't off gas and stuff, um, and we can save it for when we need it. Where does bleach stone go? It's a consumable, right? Yeah. Let's let's stick it here. <clears throat> we'll just stick it to where you know it's a higher, a little bit higher priority, so they automatically pick it up. All right, so let's get these done. Um, and then let's copy these settings as well. Okay, perfect. Power grid's probably fine. Nothing's really overloaded. I mean, this one's above, but again, we don't use these machines constantly, so it's fine as well. So we're good. Um, I do see how we need to come to priorities again. This is why two mechatronics guys is always good, is because you can have one prioritize operating and one prioritize building, and therefore then they build the things, and the other guy operates, and when there's nothing to build, the second one operates. But, you know, for now, we'll switch them back and forth. Not a problem. All right, now, natural gas. <clears throat> it's good that we have two of them. So that means this is going to be our natural gas power area. Now, these things are going to give off all kinds of stuff. So they give off carbon dioxide and polluted water. So the polluted water is not a problem. Um, we're going to come down here. And we're going to put one here, one here, one here, and one there. That's basically what we're going to do. Yep. Um, obviously, we'll be putting in infrastructure. So we'll do one there. Like that. And then we need mesh tiles to go like that. <clears throat> uh, then we're going to take our power. There we go. Um, we will go ahead and just take it down right here. That will take care of our grid. Obviously, we need automation. There we go. 
Then we're going to bring in our natural gas. Okay, we're designing a fancy pipe. As you can see, we're going in every direction. Uh, I'm going to bring it in this way. Like that. Um, and then the tricky part <clears throat> is we've got to take out the carbon dioxide. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be hot. So I don't want it to heat up the base, so we'll just do that. Not that heating up the base is a problem. It's not going to be. Okay, and we'll switch it back here. All right, so this means I just need to blast it into space, technically. That is the idea. <clears throat> we can do that. We're just going to go straight up into space. And since there are meteorites and stuff, we will do a little doorway, and we'll go through there. Yep. Now that means we also need a wonderful ladder to take us at least to there. And then, whoops, up into space. Or into a vacuum area, anyways. Okay. So we'll do that. And let me see. So this tile needs to be deconstructed, and this tile also needs to be deconstructed, and we need to build this. So, I'm just going to stick all of this on a 7. And I know people, someone will be proud of me because it's like, Hey, he's, he's getting it off into space immediately. That is our goal. Alright. I really don't need to put all this on a 7, but... I've done it anyways. <laughs> There we go. Um, we'll need to do this side as well. Coming in. And all of this. Otherwise, we won't have anything anyway. So what difference does it make, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll let you guys do that. That gives us lots to build. We do have our kill thing for our drop-off. We just need to set up the automation and all of that. Um which means we need a conveyor roll, uh, loader loaded up here. Um, we're going to stick it right here. How big is the treehouse thing? It's probably big. Well, we'll figure it out where we want to do that. I don't even know if hatches can use the little treehouse thing. If they can, we're going to have to rethink this design, but we can do that later for now. We'll just keep it like that. <clears throat> and we'll build this out as well. Um, we could put a light above the grooming station later just so that they work faster. You can put a light pretty much anywhere where they are doing an activity. And they, it speeds them up a little bit. You know, including the bathrooms, which, you know, we haven't done. Anyways, next episode we'll see what we got and we will continue... Our progress. Uh, finding two natural gas things is a huge win. Uh, it solves our power problem, um, especially with the plethora of coal and then, of course, our coal production from hatches. Um, and then also it makes sure that we have quality, high quality food uh, through the natural gas ovens. <coughs> and it gives us a, something for our rockets. So that's a win. We're really lucky there. Anyways. We'll see you in the next episode, everybody. Take care.